Hey everybody, what's going on? John281 here, back again with some more Pokemon Uranium. In the last episode, we made great progress with a lot of different things, including our Eevee eggs, most of which hatched. We have one single remaining Eevee egg, and it is quite close to hatching. Uh, so as soon as it's hatched, we're going to take all of our Pokemon. We're going to first of all, we're going to stow away the Eevees. We don't, uh, we're going to put them home. We're going to come back to them in a second. We're going to take our Sableu, our Avidon, our, er, our Spondafowl, rather. Sorry, forgive me. We're going to take our Oten, and we're going to take our Glass Slug, and we're going to head for the eastern islands, for the eastern continent of wherever that continent is, whatever that's called. Head across the ocean and see if we can rustle up some stronger Pokemon so we can uh, level up our Sableu a little bit faster. Once we've done that, we're going to come back over here grab a whole slew of Eevees and fight through a bunch of Pokemon. And, uh, hopefully evolve all of the different Eevees. The more, the absolute menagerie of Eevees there are to be evolved. And hopefully won't need any more Eevees because we don't, won't evolve the wrong one or something. Because that would suck. But, uh, yeah. That's our game plan for the next few episodes. Hopefully it doesn't take more than a few episodes. Um, that egg is real close to hatching, so hopefully it hatches soon. Because <clears throat> I would love to skadoodle over to the to the other continent and fight things that yield quite a lot more XP. Because these guys, I'm gonna be honest, we need like 3,300, 3,400 XP per level up at this point, and 200 is just having to kill more than a couple dozen of them almost or more than a dozen of them really it's just like okay 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 luckily there's a few good guys like the prime apes and the uh, gara rules and the uh, tropins and the uh i feel like there's one with the boss shaft really help counteract and, and balance the xp we get because they give decent xp like that so that we can you know, maintain some kind of quota, some kind of level up speed ratio that, you know, is, is decent. But without them, we'd be here all year. Good blown away. We'd be here for days. On end. Endlessly. I think we need one more after this to level up. Yes, one more. So close to that level up. Maybe it'll be the evolution. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be it'll evolve. We can hope. We can hope. Bubble beam and level up. What is it an evolution? I'm gonna guess no. Ooh. Yes. We should definitely learn muddy water. Um uh, yeah, 85% accuracy, I'm not a fan of that. Although, when we have Harden, why do we still have Harden? How do we get Harden stuff? Water Gun is not great. Or at least it has 100%, 100%, 100%. Let's get rid of that. Sure. We don't want Harden. We never use it. So at least we learned a new attack. That's good. Got rid of that Harden. We don't need that. We'd like to get rid of that. Whatever that's called, dollar store squirt gun, or what have you, water water jet, water gun, sure. Cause it's not great, doesn't do much. It's just like blah, 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 blah. there's water. So we gotta get uh, a lot more than that, hopefully. 191 XP that barely showed up on our radar. Oh no. Look how much XP we got. We barely made it to the end of the H in HP. Considering we started halfway through the H in HP. That doesn't bode well at all. Magnitude 8. You're gone. Get out of here. Boom. Explosion. You're dead. Okay. Okay, now I gotta I got see this. How, how, how long are we gonna be here? 38. So that's... What? Uh, 
19. 20, because we've already killed two. 21 Pokemon we have to knock out. Hold on. It's going to be faster to just hatch this EV egg manually than walking around hoping it'll hatch while we're leveling up our uh, Sableen. Because this is going to take the rest of eternity to do. Huh? Oh, wow. The egg is hatching. What craziness. Who knew it would hatch? We were so surprised and amazed at the Eevee that is now before us. No, don't aim the Eevee. In fact, turn back in here, drop all the Eevees off, and pick up all other kinds of Pokemon. Nope. Move Pokemon. Um. Uh, what is going on here? Wow, those guys are high level. I forgot about those guys. Um, here we go. Here's all the other EVs. Put you there. Put you there. Put you there. Put you. There. Now we need our O10 and our Glass of Love. Wherever those guys ended up. Did I actually evolve you into a Shouten? Yes, I did. So a Shouten. And the last slug, I believe, is over here. Yes, there you are. I really need to level you guys up some more. Um, there we go. And then, let me see. Get out rid of all the PCs. So here's our current Pokemon setup. Let me just replicate that over here. Um, let me see. Oh, so everything crashes. That, this. We'll leave the two empty spaces for now. We don't really need anybody at the moment. Not too badly anyway. We've got someone strong enough to fight, and we've got someone, uh, you know, capable that we're gonna level up and all that good stuff. We'll do this. Like that. There we go. Ah, uh, it's not perfect. Uh, there we go. Hold on. There. Perfect. Well, pretty good at least. Anyway. Um, and now we away to the oceans of the east. Away! Up the hill and away! Through the building and away, 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 and away. So far away. Okay, to Roachvale Town. Away. Away, 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 away. I think it's Roachvale Town. I don't actually know the name of the town. I think we covered that earlier. Roachvale Town. I knew the name of the town. Away, 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 away. That's got it real annoying, I apologize. We're just going away. Um, now let's see how we fare in the ocean blue. How did we not run into any Pokemon all the way over here? That's amazing. That's not what I meant to do, but sure. 
Yes, swim. I believe through those sacred rocks of crossing, we can fly to the next area. But I want to try and fight something first. 36. That's going to be tough, but we'll try. We'll see what we can do. Uh, how do you like magnitude? Are you a fan? Swagger, great, confusion, excellent, perfect, lovely. God dang it, I don't like confusion. Just saying. You're not a fan of magnitude, which is excellent. That's perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Sweet. Sweetness. Amazing. Which means I can just keep going. I'll just swim across the whole ocean. I won't even fly. I'll just swim. Swim the whole way. This is awesome. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Wasn't hoping for anything that low, but that's still way better than what I was fighting before. I used the wrong thing. I meant to use magnitude. But that's fine. It's not very effective anyways, so mental note. I take mark this down as a learning lesson. Sure. 15,000 little script scratches later. Basically what it's done is it's flopped out of the water on top of me and just like had a seizure. Just flipped out. And, like nicked me a bunch of times with its tail I think is, is what's happened there. Unless it scratched me with its ferocious uh, little flipper, flippery doos. Um... Oh, this is so much better XP. Braillip, sure, sure. Let's uh, let's see what's good against a Braillip. Braillip's a psychic type. Do you like ground type moves? I don't know if it matters. That one's gonna do some damage. Oh, no, you don't care about. You don't care about those ones. No, you don't care about a magnitude 9. So, we're gonna try Bubble Beam. How does Bubble Beam do? Braille it might be my weakness with this Pokemon. Yikes. Great. I love Pokemon that can attack me in their sleep. Excellent. Because if there's one way I want to go out, it's being defeated by a Pokemon who's literally not even giving it the effort to be awake. Hit it again. Well, right said, got a lot of power points of magnitude, so gotta utilize all of those. Nice, nice. This is awesome. We're already halfway to a level up. I'm loving this. Just keep magnitude, 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 magnitude. Boom, 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 boom. Pow. I love it. I love it. Keep up the great work. Keep it up. Keep it up. Maybe something stronger than a mag five, but I love it anyway. I don't care. It's great. Wow. That did nothing. Maybe something a bit stronger than Magnitude 5. I take back what I said earlier. We kind of need something better than a 5. 7. There you go. Boom. Love it. Great. Easy peasy. Maybe like three more of those. Go. We got this. Another 7. Maybe now like two more of those now next. Coming up. Coming right up. Or maybe one at least. It's just side beam, magnitude, side beam, magnitude. We're all we're going the same place. We got the same amount of health. There you go. There's another, there's another magnitude 7. Boom. Easy. Only took a lot of hits, actually. And had to do a lot of hitting. Come to think of it. But, uh... Hey, we made it. Another one. Okay. What if I just run away from this guy? Give me something easier to defeat. Yeah! Like a fry knife. Boom, hit it with that magnitude. Easy peasy. Eight. That'll do. But it It's gone. Dead end. Went too far. Turn around. Head back. I always go too far there. I always go like, it must be the next island now. That's not. Never is. I always think it is. It's not. Magnitude. Magnitude 7. It's dead. I love it. It's great. Great XP. All day, every day. 
Sweet! One hit KOing, level 31s. Getting some serious XP. We've like halved, almost halved the number of Pokemon we have to kill now. So now it's instead of it being 20, it's now 10 again, which is much more reasonable. Um, magnitude. Aqua Jet. That thing moved real fast. I heard it go. That's that's the sound that you make when you go fast, I guess. As per all entertainment media of all forms. You know what? I want to see if I can level up before having to go heal. We can do this. We've got 18 health, but we're only like two Pokemon away. Magnitude. Mag 7. That should do it, maybe? Yes. Just barely. I think that was that was close, but hey, one more Pokemon. A Braylip. You know what they say. Fuck that noise. Nope. Ain't gonna deal with that. Give me something a little more not that. There we go. Easy. Hit that thing with a magnitude, and it's up. Boom. What? No level up? We're so close then. So close. Nope. Not gonna deal with that noise. Give me a fry knife. I used to complain that they were everywhere. Now give me one, please. I'm sorry. You must have mistranslated my bag for a oh, hell no. Come on. Give me something that's not the upgrade version of the thing I really don't want to fight. Technically, that falls under the constraints I listed, but I feel like you were taking it by the letter, not the spirit. I want something else. Come on. And a fry now. There we go. Easy peasy. It's level 27. You really scraped the bottom of the barrel. You tried your hardest to give me the one thing I didn't want, which was anything of decent, like any kind of decent primary or further evolutions. Nice. Still level up. That's fine. That's fine. Blip. Hop out of the water and hello. Can I heal? Can you heal me, please? Thank you. Gracias. Uh, I don't know if I will need it, but I will take all the luck I can get. Give me something else. I'll even fight that brain roar now. I just need some more of that, some more of that stout health, some more of that strength, some more of that rough and tumble fight. And magnitude. Magnitude seven. Sure. Man, these things are really resistant to. All, all of my attacks. All of them. Just all of them. Magnitude 8. Wow. Oh, it was also a critical hit. I was using that to gauge, like, how much is a 7 versus an 8. 8, apparently a lot more, but it was a critical, so maybe not. I don't know. We figured it was going to be more, but I didn't know how much more. Ooh. I don't know what to use against you. Is water effective? Not necessarily. Okay, good to know. Is magnitude all that powerful? No. In fact, I would venture to say, hell no. We're gonna do it again anyway, because you're, you're, you're almost dead. And also, 
I mean, as I'm, I'm sure it has a much lower chance to miss since it hits the whole field. A thousand XP. Wow. That's good XP. I'll take it. I'll definitely take that. A Braylip. Sure. You know what? I'll throw a couple magnitudes at it. A couple dozen thousand magnitudes at it. I'll get somewhere with it, probably. Magnitude 9. Whoa. Well, how does that do? Pretty well. That being said, Braylip really does not give a shit about my magnitudes. Another Mag 9. Ba boom One hit, two hit. And he's, he's down for the count. It's a fish with its brain external to its body, and it really doesn't care about earthquakes. I'm just saying. Thank you very much. Gracias. But, uh, I think we're gonna end this episode here, guys. We made some good progress. We made it to a new area. We're at it. We broke the, the chain of just, like, the same place, same thing, same place, same thing, same place, same thing, same place, same thing. We're somewhere new. We're fighting things. Making good XP. Making good levels. So, uh, we're currently at level, uh, 38. Wow, we went up a couple levels without me noticing. We're level 38. I'm hoping we hit that evolution soon. I'm hoping, because it could just easily be like 55, or 65, or 75, but I really don't want it to be that high. I want it to be like in a few levels from now. But, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll find out in the next episode, and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye!